My god, Neil. Have I mentioned how incredibly surprised I am that my give them something else to shoot at plan actually worked? Okay, so I'm gonna do something that a lot of XCOM people do, and one of my friends initially told me when I first started playing the game that I should do if I ever wanted to make sure something happened. I'm going to test a idea. We're going to call this Saving Neil, because I expect that this will kill Neil. Okay, it did not kill Neil. I actually was pretty much fully prepared for the simple fact that I expected was going to be when I walked Neil forward over there, he was just gonna get shot and killed. I fully expected that to be true. It's gonna sue me forward too. She will watch through that window. Do you have enough for like an auto fire? Okay. You have enough for a counter. We know that they're way over there. We know that we won't have enough time units to get to them from way over there. Xander has a slightly more than selfie, so he's going to be the one who attempts to do it. If they decide to come around that corner, fortunately, I will hope that my people would just blast them away. I'm going to give her a little bit better of a line of sight so that hopefully she doesn't kill Xander when she shoots at them. Barrett, come on over. Edge, come on over. Just in case, we never know. You face that way. You face that way. Captain Claude, get your ass over here. Stop being so lazy. Neil is alive, and he's going to stay right there. This round, he's going to pull this out. Actually, he's not going to stay right there. He's going to stay right there. Didn't need my turn. We turned fire and killed him. It's okay. We kind of expected that. We're trying to take them alive here. Your job is to basically move forward and tell me what you see. Ha! Huh, they're facing both directions. Ha ha! Come on, work! Yes! That's gonna take way too many time units. I don't want to do the state saving thing, but I'm going to, because this does involve saving Neil. It did not take too many time units. Oh, but it didn't work. Oh, I don't have anybody from behind I can do that with anymore either. I wonder if I could like, throw my gun at him and knock him unconscious. It, it's almost worth a try. Like, I've got other people who I can bring over to shoot him. This is a ridiculous plan. This should not work by any means. Unable to throw there. Well, Xander. You must get closer. He's not shooting you. How many time units do you need to throw it? 14. Why is he not shooting me? Why is he not shooting me? Still not shooting me. Okay. Uh. Alright, that didn't work at all. <laughs> okay. Alright, that didn't work at all. How do I load from here? Do I have to, like, take off and quit and abandon to load from here? Well, that's dumb. I'll do it a different way. Be right back. 
All right, we're back to our save right before Neil walked up to try and stun and failed. Maybe it'll work again this time. Maybe it'll work. It did. Okay. So there was a little state save logic there. That was only because I, I, I tried a stupid idea that killed Xander. We really didn't want to just kill Xander for a stupid idea. Oh. Oh, damn it. I do that too much. I really do. I do that way too much. So some of you XCOM watcher people are going to be upset about what I've done here today. Some of you are going to be, no, that's exactly what you have to do. And that's, that's, that was good XCOM play. Some of you are going to feel that way, some of you are not. I don't know what, what your opinion on state saving is, but that's basically what I just did right there is state save. I kind of don't like that I did that. Personally, it's kind of eating away at me. That's why I'm talking about how some of you aren't going to like that. I'm going to try not to do that too much in the future. But I mean, I tried something so blatantly stupid that it was stupid. And really, in my mind, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that my person would walk up there and then not do anything because they didn't have enough time to. Like, I, like he wouldn't have walked all the way up there if he wasn't going to have the time to stun. Like, I just... Just gotta, I wish, that's one of the things about the game's interface that I just wish was a little different. I wish there was a way to see how long I have, how much time units things are going to take. Like, there's no way to, there's no way to get that to happen. I really would like to see how long, how much movement things are going to take. But, oh well. I don't even know what all these buttons do. What is this one? What, what is this one? What does this button do, exactly? I don't even know what it does. Oh, I see what it, oh god, I did it again. Let's see what it does now. It removes that person from the next person list. Okay, so now nobody's on the next person list. Awesome. We can't use that button for the rest of this map. <laughs> Probably. Hopefully it resets. Maybe it'll reset this turn. Yeah, okay, it resets per turn. It's actually kind of neat. It's an option so that you can be like, no, that person is never going to do anything again. Remove their turn is over, basically. It's like a your turn's over button. I'm assuming the last one is going to be in this building here. We really, really, really would like to take him alive. It's kind of likely that he's the commander. This is like the commanding... The command center, you could call it. We would really like to take the command center person alive. Secret Agent Neil might be just what the doctor ordered for that. Then again, he might not be. He might turn out to be absolutely horrific at that. With any luck, I'll be wrong. He won't. He'll be great. I don't think Selfie's gonna be good at that. She doesn't even have enough energy to walk. This base assault is going far better than the last one. Either way, state saves included. Because seriously, I tried the last base assault three times. Three times before I finally won, and we still lost half the squad. This time we only lost, like, what, four people? And they were all rookies, like, that we didn't care about for the most part. Alright, so selfie, probably not going to be too helpful. She doesn't have the energy for anything. Neil is running out of energy, too. I'll... Ah, I think I just figured it out. I'll bet that's what it does. It takes more energy. You get less energy per turn if you have multiple things in your hand, don't you? Uh huh. Probably also takes more energy as you move around. 
heavier your gear that you're carrying with you, the less energy. That's probably what it is. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Because everybody else gets full energy back. But these people over here do not. They get like half their energy back. If that. But they really should have guns at the ready as well. I'll bet he knows we're standing right in front of that door. And is ready to destroy us for it. Xander, move aside. Neil, I don't know what you're thinking, buddy. You should not be the one going first here. Your job is to figure out where they are. Everyone else's job is to handle it once you know. As horrible as that may sound to you, you're not going to have enough energy if I don't take that off. You probably still won't. Alright, Jane. It's been nice knowing you. Yeah, you guys don't really matter anymore. So you're not going to do anything this round. Actually, when we come back, we will breach this. Because I had a timer. Not paying attention to it because game intense. What happens, happens. See you then.